Hello, and welcome to The War Report. This is a show where we talk about AEW and NXT. I am your host, Cyrus, joined by the piece of shit, Quan. <laughs> How you feeling? Um, another year older, another year wiser. Ugh, I'm th- I'm 30, 31 years old, 31 years young. Um, how, how many statistics did we beat getting here? I don't even know. All of them. <laughs> um, but yeah, birthday weekend was cool and real chill. Saturday night, went out a couple of my friends. We just, not, nothing crazy. And then Sunday, I chilled, um, had wings, watched a football game. Patri- I mean, I'm sorry, the Dolphins won. They beat the Patriots. So, it's, you know, it's a good day for me. <laughs> Besides that, yeah, it must have been cool. What's up with you? Uh, I go back to work soon after a wee vacation, so that sucks. But we're going to push through that. You know how it goes. Uh, The big big one hundo coming soon, man. How you feeling? Mm. Big one hundo. How are you feeling? You've been here since since the jump. I'm, I'm, I'm just trying. I'm just hopping on the train. You got here. Uh, how I feel is that I would love to not cover AEW for one week. That'd be cool. No, we These shows are ass. We got it. We got to do it, bro. Uh, I I would I would love to just skip skip over just one just one show. You know, just for one week. Just take a knee. Uh, but like you said, this is what the whole show is about. If there's no AEW slander on the show, then you know, I don't I don't get to decompress. You feel me? You let, let, let your rage out. <laughs> yeah, your uh, angst. I, I, there, there is no light up to endure. So you know, paying attention to literally like everything and everything, like little shit that shouldn't, like little shit that would normally bother me, just like hits thirty times harder because I, it just baffles me that like shit like this would be aired on television. It really. Oh. It's kind, of, it's kind of insane to me. Come on, man. Uh, nah, this show, <laughs> dog. <sighs> Let, you, let's go into in the trenches before. Let's, I let's go into the trenches yeah, 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 before yeah, we yeah. could go. Okay. So, the weekend starts off very, very sad with um, Samoa Joe having to relinquish the NXT uh, championship, leaving it vacant for the main event. Uh, of NXT um, this week. It's a shame. Um, We heard that Samoa Joe injury is not that bad, but it would lead him to like not be able to defend it within like those 30 days. You know, you know that that very very strict thirty day rule that WWE yeah, has <laughs> that, lo- that they love to enforce. But like for the sake of NXT 2.0, they need it. So yeah, I, I mean, it just had to be done. If this were to happen any other time, I'd be like that sucks. But because it is NXT 2.0, it's a yeah. whole different show. I guess we could just get the formality. I, like I've said before on here, I never expected Samoa Joe to hold the belt for a long time. Yeah, anyway. It's unfortunate that it had to be this way. I know some people were even yeah. saying like this is a, this is a work and like he's not really hurt, but and I don't think that's true. This is dog. When you're not like when wrestling is all you fucking know, you think everything's a work. Like some people just get hurt. Like it happens. Especially like you don't you don't have to joke. you don't have to speculate on everything, you know. And like, Every, yeah, especially Joe. You know, he gets hurt a lot. And then, you know, I, I yeah, I'm, I can't stand people are like, everything's a damn conspiracy. Not everything's a damn conspiracy. Sometimes yeah. stuff just happens, man. Yeah, sure. Was it was the, was the timing convenient? Yeah, sure. The timing was a little convenient. <laughs> but <laughs> you, that's just how the game goes. I don't man. think I they want to I don't, I don't think they want to vacate the title twice in one year. Exactly. So, so soon back to back. Like this belt is is a snake bitten, man. It seems like it's unlucky. Yeah. Uh, I'm not. I'm not gonna deem it unlucky. It's starting to feel like it, cause like this is where it's not a conspiracy because Joe does get hurt. Joe is not a spring chicken. Mm-mm. So it, it it sucks to say that because I love Samoa Joe so much, but like that's kind of what it is. Like it it, it it is what it is, man. Uh, 
yeah, so that sucks. But moving on. Not that I particularly care too much about this, but this is the new, like like Niels would say, this is the new jig for these um, journalists and reporters to just stare at a clock and just be like, who contract is up? And then constantly feed you bullshit updates on said contract. You know what's crazy? As long as I've been online as an online wrestling fan, I've never, ever, ever had a, seen conversations about when contracts uh, expire. It ever. It isn't it kind of blowing my mind. This, it, it is insanity to me, man. This this is why I will always say that. Uh, well, Dom was completely right when he on his reviews. Um, well, not his review, just on his thought on the Star Show heels. Uh, Dom from Triple Beam Stream, Dom from the group chat, just a, a great friend of ours. Wrestling fans don't care about what happens in the ring, man. They care about what happens backstage. Everybody is like, uh, you know, everybody wants the TMZ part of it, yeah. you know? Because, like, I sure as fuck don't care about Johnny Gargano, like, December, uh, his contract coming up in December. He ain't going nowhere anyway. And I, I, I would, I would, <laughs> I would love, 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 love to see all the AEW marks turn around on Jordy Gargano, saying that it would be a great get after they've been bitching and moaning about oh long matches. Oh, he keeps staring at his hands. <laughs> he slaps his leg. And now you motherfuckers are going to be tuned in to when his contract uh uh runs out. You guys are bitches. Y'all don't stand. Y'all don't stand on no ground. That shit is, yeah. Oh, you know what? Speaking of journalistic integrity, well, you know, at Adam Cole. So, you know, there, there were rumors that, this, first of all, the source came from ringsidenews.com, the most unreliable source ever. When like, they stated, why do we even still give these motherfuckers a <laughs> website? Like, 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 they stated, they said that the rumor going around was that Adam Cole was going to be called, was offered to be called up to be a manager to Keith Lee. And people ran with that, and then Meltzer added on the Keith Lee part, and people were running with it. And then come to find out, it. come to find out, Adam Cole today said that's all cap. I ain't never heard nothing about that. I'm not coming there to be no fucking and, manager. And, and, and then you know what? All the people that reported it, all the people that reposted the story, all the people that did all that shit, they're not going to see no repercussions of it. Everybody's oh, just going to start. Everybody's going to be like, "Well, that was false," and then believe the next bullshit that they say next time. Absolutely. It's been like that for the last like six months. Six months. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just saying the blatant, like the blatant lies they've got. Oh, yeah. Been, like last six months. It's been ridiculous. Like, uh, the whole thing about uh, Vince and uh, to, um, Nick Khan or uh, what is it? Uh, Kevin Dunn or whatever. Uh, Going to take over NXT. You know, uh, Triple H is no longer a, a, a in charge currently. Yeah. That the following week, no, it's Triple H still gonna do the thing, and then people were just like, Oh, well, that's a lie because uh, Triple H wasn't there, and it's just like that nigga is sick, yeah, man's recovering from heart surgery. People get so weird when it comes to Triple H, it is so fucking weird, man. And it, it, and it's a it's a a certain set of fans, and I'm gonna stop there before. I say some things that might hurt some feelings. Say them. These crackers are getting out of control, man. <laughs> this shit is ridiculous. Dog, I don't ever, you know, in my brief time on Twitter, <laughs> I don't ever see no black person uh, talking about, oh, man, uh, uh, this is trying to rib Triple H. Oh, uh, 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 you know, uh, <laughs> what, what, would it, what, what, what would it be? Um, Oh, you know, I I think a lot of people, they would, uh, you know, everybody would echo the, you know, people get ruined on the main roster thing. That's like, that's just a staple at this point. But, oh, this is a rib to Triple H. Like, come on, son. Like, the thing is sick right now, bro. (laughs) Like, like, where where does the, like, you got your engagements off the last, uh, 30 posts that you made about joking on Triple H, bro. The nigga is sick right now. You can't wait. No waiting. 
let's, let's not even dwell on it. Let's not, even, you know, actually, uh, this Inter Trenchers is kind of depressing this week. <laughs> uh, I mean, not much is really going on. Uh, another person who contract is all, also up. Uh, I listened to the HR uh, earlier today is uh, Kevin Owens. And I will say the way that Kevin Owens talks about the Indies, he does not want to go back. Saying not, the yeah, not saying that AEW is an indie, but I don't see him leaving. This, uh, I, I think I this actually, man really cares for his family, man. I actually could see him leaving if, if the price is if the price is right and he feels comfortable. I think he would. I mean. Low key, he done pretty much everything in WWE outside of like win the Rumble. I mean, that can happen at any point. It could. Um, I mean, if he wants to go wrestle with his friends, he obviously has a very close connection with the Bucks and and Adam Cole. If he wants to go over there, I mean, I that's not that he's he'll be another like Daniel Bryan situation to me, where like if he left, yeah, it would suck, but I'll be like, I'd also be like, okay, yeah, I get it. He done everything. Mm. Let's let's go over here. Uh, well, I don't think Kevin Owens. Is- uh, kind of done as much as Daniel Bryan, but well, not as hear, much. I, 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 I hear you. You've done everything you pretty much can do. Um, my thing is, is that you know, yes, Kevin Owens does have this relationship with the Bucks and them and all that. But my thing is, is that like when they leave WWE and then they just go right back to their old indie shit, it feels very uninspiring. So that's why I'm very harsh on Adam Cole because you're just doing the same shit that you did when you like before you left the WWE. Like you didn't brainstorm no shit. Like you didn't like say anything to creative, and then they were just like no. And now you want to try it out now. Like you're just rehashing the same old shit. Whereas so, like, so you you kind of want Adam Cole to have like a brand new character. Do, do something different. Yeah, you want to re- yeah. Cause he That's he right. went out he's he's going out there and just doing the same ROH shit the same PWG shit yeah and that was like how long ago six years ago probably like what is this shit man Adam and also like Adam Cole is really like he's way too young to just like reinvent yourself like what happened to that That's scary man I, I you know um I will say it's about AW uh, fans they they love the hits. And I mean, they love what they are watching we're, we're, on we're New the Japan. New songs, man. Speaking of Adam Cole's song, that song's hard. I do like his song. Uh, I need to listen to it like with the headphones. You know, I like song it. Does suck. It's at uh, Malachi Black shit. That shit's ass. I like. I like that. That shit ain't nothing like Root of All Evil. Let me tell you. I mean, it's not Root of All Evil, obviously. It, exactly. It's so good. it's ass. So it's, it's not, not bad. A, no, no, it is ass. Root of All Evil is one of the best. I work out to Root of All Evil. Exactly. I can't. That's on my I, playlist. I wouldn't even entertain listening to this shit on the headphones, bro. That's <laughs> like how that, that shit is. I ass. like Malachi. That shit. Um. Our last uh, in the trenches topic, very sad, but uh, Jake Atlas announces that he'll be stepping away from wrestling uh, for a little bit, get his mental right, and coming back stronger. All power to him. I, I think he, he showed up on the uh, New Japan Strong show with uh, yeah. Alex Zane, who was uh, Aro Sterling on 205 Live. But yeah, yeah man, take a break. Fuck it. Yeah, man, take a break. Hey, you know, what I mean, I don't know if it was the uh, the release that really kind of triggered it or whatever. It just was born. I know he'd be go- he was going through stuff while he was working there, but yeah. I I do kind of wonder like did that compound on top of it? Like, yeah, oh, I definitely. lost my job. So I mean, yeah, I man, mean, just take take your time. Yeah. Hopefully, uh, I'm not gonna tell him how to feel. So uh, yeah, always take your like, time. He got Hope fired. Better, and, like, uh, he got fired, and then I don't even think he got like a 90 or like a 30 day compete clause. Like he was still like back out there. Yeah, he got back out there pretty so, quick. So, uh, I, I, I don't really think it might have been uh, like too much of like the getting fired part, but you know, I don't, I don't, I don't know how you feel. You know, we never know. Can't be in his brain, but yeah, yeah. But uh, so, shut up. Uh, let him get his mental right, do his whole thing, man. Uh, Godspeed, Jake Alex. All right, so that's it for in the trenches. I don't really think there's any other big possible topics uh i was i was struggling they want to talk about ratings or something <laughs> no okay <laughs> and that's all i got i don't care like i guess we could talk about it a little bit. 
I was kidding. Like, I, I, just, just, I don't want any ratings talk. What are you? I was kidding. That was a complete joke. I, 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 well, I have a joke as well. Okay. I think it is so funny that like multiple articles, sources, all these things are just like television ratings and these demos really don't matter. And AEW fans are just like, this is the most important thing to me. It's very raw. sad to see. They beat Raw in the key yeah, demo, man. Yeah, apparently they beat Raw. And then I'm just like, hey, man, I didn't know 1.1 1. Uh, 1. 1 or whatever is greater than 2. I don't know what math class these motherfuckers are taking, but... No, you I see, mean, the, other, the, uh, the other people don't matter. The only people that matter are the 18 to 49. If anybody else is watching the show, it did not count. It doesn't matter. Yeah, th- those Come aren't on. people. If, if, <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're a child or, you know, someone my age, or not my age, well, someone o- older than my parents. Yeah. I'm, I'm an 18 to 49. <laughs> don't do that. I'm an 18 to 49. Yeah. <laughs> just like, every, like, all AEW fans are just like, fuck your moms. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. my mom enjoyed the show. She, she don't count? The yeah. Fuck? But yeah, I I do think it's funny that like all these like things are just like ratings and like these demos really don't matter. It's about like social media, uh, you know, these YouTube views, all this other stuff. Well, and then well, everybody well, is just like saying like the complete opposite and then telling like literal professionals that they're wrong. Well, let's not say they don't matter. They just don't matter as much as they did, you know, 20 years ago or 30 okay, years sure. ago. Let's look. I don't want to say they don't. They, they matter somewhat to a degree. Especially, uh, I think to more, a very I, small degree. I, th- I think more so towards AEW because that's kind of where they're getting all their, you know. Yeah, that's the, that's their from. that's their lifeblood. That's their lifeline right now. With the, is is uh, cause it, it's because they're in the projects. That's why they they don't really tour enough to make money off tour. I'd imagine they don't make when, enough. It, w- when they get out the projects, they can stop worrying about television. <laughs> Ain't that crazy? That's also why you see so many picture in picture matches on they got, they got a lot more commercials. <laughs> please to <show>. please <laughs> tune in. Please don't t- the, please don't watch lot, nothing else. There's a lot of commercials on that show. But um right. yeah, let's get into uh AEW, man. I'ma make this real easy for you. Don't you ever, ever talk to him like that again. Don't you even look at him. You know what else you can do? You can take your ratchet, trifling ass right up off my stage and do not come back unless I send for you. Do you understand me? Did Heffa? you watch Rampage? I did. All right, tell me all about it because I did. I watched it so you didn't have to. Honestly, it's a one match show. Obviously. You, I mean, you really only have to watch Andrade versus. Um, I, uh, I, I I heard I heard this was the best match ever. Andrade's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I will say this, but it was a lot better than his debut. But Andrade versus Pac, 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 Pac was going legend. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Pac was going crazy. It, like, I ain't see Pac work like that in a minute. <laughs> All right, that's good. Uh, that is very good to hear. Um, match was good though. Yeah. Um, what else happened? Other other matches that that opened the show. So really, you could watch that match and then turn the show off because. What happened with Chavo Guerrero? Wait, who won? Oh, okay. Andrade won because of distraction by uh, Chavo Guerrero, and okay. then he interfered. And then Andrade didn't like that. He's like, I, I run, I run this. You don't, you don't do those kind, make those kind of decisions. So he smacked him in his mouth, and he fell over. That's pretty much it. Um, six woman tag match: Doctor Britt Baker, DMD Rebel, and Jamie Hader versus Riho, Ruby Soho, and Chris Statlander. You ain't missed nothing. Um, main uh, event I was a. Uh, Main event, Max Caster versus Brian Pillman Jr. You can stop right there. <laughs> you can stop right fucking there. All right, oh, let's get into no. Dynamite. Because holy shit, that card sounds fucking awful, son. Oh, no. But that that's what Rampage is going to be. Um, Well, that, well, this next week is going to be two hours long. They got actual matches on there <laughs> next week. So and I'm we'll watching see. zero hours of it, baby. Motherfucker, well, I ain't watching that shit. You're not going to watch Punk? Uh, no. Oh, watch Punk talk? No, he's wrestling. He's, re- he's wrestling on, on Rampage. Yeah, I'm not watching that shit. Um, he, 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 which, uh, which one of the dudes he wrestling? He's wrestling Hobbs. We'll see. If somebody's just like, hey, yo, you want to come out? I'm outside, yeah. I'm yeah, outside. Over. Instantly I'm not outside. I'm not, I'm not entertaining this shit. Um, but all right. To start the show, CM Punk comes out. Um He's on commentary for this show, and 
they just really couldn't find him to do anything else because commentary for real no it was for the for the uh the angle up near the end of the show and i mean i think it was fine i mean they could have did that shit at any point in the show it didn't it, he didn't really have to be on commentary for i, didn't, I, didn't, for I didn't, didn't i didn't i didn't mind punk on commentary i thought it was fine my my thing is what punk on commentary is is that they advertise like it being a big deal and then he added nothing to commentary. Mm. He had nothing insightful to say. Am I wrong? He was he was more color commentary than actual commentary. Because when when he was talking about, hey man, that ring is pretty hard. This this ring is very different. Uh, yeah. I mean, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, the 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 hard the uh the outside of that ring is pretty hard, brother. You didn't know. That is like the extent of punk's like commentary. This shit is a joke, bro. This shit is ridiculous. Um, and then just to talk about the angle, let's just get it out of the fucking way. Taz, who is not regularly on commentary, comes out going, You trying to take my job? You, you what do you mean? He's, already, he's on commentary every week, he did dark every week. Whatever. He's not on he's not on uh for dynamite, he's not on this shit. So I don't know why he acting like he's gonna take his shit. Shit is dumb. This, like this is this is just as dumb as the. Were you talking about Team Taz? And Punk was just like, "No, not really." No, you, you, you no. I heard you talking about Hobbs and uh, oh, you know, whoever the fuck. And it was like, uh, "Nah, not really." Like this is just as dumb as that. And mm-hmm. then um, Hook, who has a terrible dragon sleeper, uh ran up on Punk, and then Hobbs came up and ran him up on him as well. And then they powerbombed him through the uh, the commentary desk. I didn't need it. It was fine. It was, um, if it gave, oh, I don't, I, don't, um, I don't... I don't really care about, like, the assault part. I just hate how we got there. <laughs> I, just, I, I, I just hate... Uh, I hate the bill. Um, now, uh, Adam Cole's debut versus Frankie Kazarian. match stinks bro this match, uh, this match is very uh mid so, uh, that, why is it why with, that's what that's hot with the kids right why 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 did it stink tyrus let me know i'm not uh, disagreeing i'm just asking <laughs> my thing is is that always with presentation and how things are built frankie kazarian is literally a d-list wrestler on the aew like totem pole he is, he has the jobber gimmick. Why is Adam Cole going 50-50 with him, bro? Adam is not it's not like Adam Cole was out for 90, 30 days and is kind of like rusty in the ring. He left like two weeks after a major pay-per-view. He's good to go. So why are we doing this? And I hate that AEW is so anti-squash match. Cause you get shit like this that just goes on for way too long, and yeah, I I can understand Frankie Kazarian's like seniority and you know him being a vet and whatnot, but Adam Cole doesn't need that. Adam Cole can be a ring general if he wants. So why are we pairing him with Frankie Kazarian? He's the elite hunter. Like, are you serious? This is ridiculous. Um, I mean, yeah, AEW's been um they've been guilty of this before, having you know established main event guys kind of going 50 50 with guys who shouldn't be going 50 50 with them. J- all, 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 all because of oh, WWE does squash matches, so we can. It's part of the business. Yeah. Um I agree. I mean, the match was fine anyway like it was just like just for the ma- outside of like the bookings totem pole like the match itself was just it's fine it gave it gave you all the adam cole greatest hits because arian got some offense and he looks it, the same it, it, it didn't really up elevate uh because in any way nor did it really elevate cole that much it kind of just showed him like okay this is adam cole but it's not like We've seen this already a month ago on the other show, so it's like it not. It, yeah, I don't know. the the other show that they was clowning, and then they clowned it again earlier on the show. Adam Cole looked like a hoe for going to AEW, bro. 
this shit is ridiculous mm. and like you said like this didn't really show me anything new you know this didn't show me that like a different adam cole he's doing all the same stuff panama sunrise uh super kid you know like not that i'm saying like his whole office would change but like this is just the same dude and yeah. he he doesn't look rusty or anything so it's just like why are we putting him with frankie kazarian like adam cole is not really positioned any like differently well i would say he's you know he's demoted more or less he's just on the just at the start of the show having matches against the divas niggas bro uh Adam Cole wins, of course. Shout out to New Jersey for getting the boom. They did the boom. They did it. Unlike uh, Uh, Cincinnati, you bums. Good uh, good, for them. New Jersey did the boom. Good for them. Um, Adam Cole wins, and then he cuts a very, I guess, uh, I don't even know what to call this promo. Uh, I I, I just want to echo the thoughts of our Discord where folks said, this is the nigga that barred up Cross? Cause they don't sound like it. Did you say shit? I'll, next week I'm doing a shit counter. Good. I think everybody did, who did a promo tonight said shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Adam so Cole. Many... Adam Cole was talking about hope. He hates hope. Mm. Nigga, what? Uh, more or less, uh, it's gonna be the super click. Is gonna be Adam Cole and the Young Bucks yawn versus the babyface hoes. And then it is what it is. That will be at Rampage next week. Yep, Rampage. Not even Dynamite. Rampage, Grand Slam. They got two hours to fill that night, so Mm -hmm. it should be fun. Shit, they could have put Britt Baker on that shit instead. She Um, might be on there. No, she's on uh, Dynamite, I believe. Uh, Is the card up for that yet? Because they said it on the show, but I don't think... I'm on on Wikipedia. I don't know if it's complete, but it seems like it. there's like six matches Um, for Dynamite and there's three for Rampage. They probably add more for Rampage, obviously. Uh, check an article that has like AEW, like tonight's results. Somebody that was like, this, doing is, this seems pretty up to date. It's literally like every match they announce, it seems okay. like it seems, um, it seems pretty up to date. Okay. Uh, because I wanted to do predictions for it. So we can do predictions. It got every big match at least that we need to watch. If anything smaller happens, who cares? Yeah. Um, yeah. So we're going to get. Uh, ROH Adam Cole and the Young Bucks versus uh, Jurassic Express and Christian Cage to uh, the two folks that have been demoted. Uh, whatever, man. It is what it is. Uh, another big topic where you get, we're finally going to get Daniel Bryan versus um, Kenny Omega, but it seems like it's going to be non title because, of course, you can't just hot shot the title, bro. We're not WWE even though this is like the match that everybody wants to see. And I am very glad that Dan, uh, Brian Danielson was just like, man, fuck this shit, man. Fight me, man. What the fuck is all this bullshit you talking about? Uh, so that's cool. I, I like that. That is very uh, American Dragon. So. I like that. Um, I'm looking forward to the match, actually. I think this is going oh, yeah, to be too. a very, a very, very, very good match. I mean, uh, you know, it's, I, shit, I fucking song. hope so. It sucks. It's on TV though, because we get a lot of commercials in it, probably, which kind of sucks. I how how big is Arthur Ashe Stadium? Shit, I don't know. I never stepped foot in New York. You're not, you're not safe out there. Uh, That's crazy. Shit full of pussies out there. That's why. Ooh, you film it? Oh shit. Okay, you got like twenty four thousand. That's a good amount. I mean, I don't know what you want me to say about that. <laughs> I just want—I just want to know how much hey, was in there. But yeah, uh, uh, twenty-four thousand New Yorkers can, having the place rocking. Can you can you check uh wrestle tickets and see if it's sold out? It's close. I don't think it is. <laughs> I'm not going to that fucking Twitter account. <laughs> uh, yeah. So that match is happening, and honestly, everything that Daniel Bryan was uh saying is just like straight up facts. Like, I want to wrestle the best mode. Like. You know, the best bout machine, the people that saying that have been changing the wrestling world. Like, I want to face that dude. But there's so many hoops and hurdles with all this stupid, dumb shit that you're doing. I just want the match. And I fuck with that. I'm very curious what match Brian wants to have next, because it seemed like he just wants to have the uh, the Kenny Omega one and the dip. He just want to wrestle. But no, I, I think he definitely wants to wrestle like 
uh, Darby and probably Orange Cassidy. Uh, you, you know he wants. You know he wants to wrestle Orange Cassidy. You know uh, Brian loves that goofy shit. <laughs> and I and I hope he. I know he probably loves that goofy shit, but I hope he really turns up the American Dragon shit and then starts shooting on fucking Orange Cassidy. That nigga has. That'd be great. Uh, but yeah, that's it. We're gonna get the match, and then our main event. That sucks. Um, we get Moxley Kingston versus Two Point 2.0. And most Man, of the matches, I, the matches, most of the matches in pitcher and pitcher break. I think this match is like six minutes long. Man, 2.0, man. They came, I ain't gonna lie to you. They came up from what they were mm-hmm. doing on NXT to what they're they, doing now. They did main events. Yep, they get uh they they get the job out in main events, so that's cool. Lit. Um, I mean better than not being on TV, I guess. I, I think the end goal with the 2.0 thing is definitely to get Daniel Garcia more on TV because he didn't seem like he has too much personality. So um, I think that he get any 2.0. 2.0, they ain't got no much personality to me. They just Canadian, two Canadians. That's it. I look funny. Don't do that. That's funny. <laughs> Being Canadian is funny to you, bro? It might be. I'm about to call Bret Hart. He about oh, to handle Brett. that. <laughs> you got shooters? <laughs> you feel me? Brett probably do got shoot. Low key. <laughs> you don't think Bret Hart got shoot? You look, I bet you niggas will die for Bret Hart out there. Hey, they don't if call I, him, if they I, don't, if, hey, he is. If the I pull shooter, up bro. to um, Calgary, I bet you he got shooters out there. <laughs> Talk slick, I dare you. <laughs> um, but yeah, so whatever the match happens, uh, obviously Mockley and Kingston win. I don't know how. I just really didn't care about this match. I and then, the match. Yeah, oh man, the, 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 the uh, you know, appealing to all the marks on Twitter and all the other shit. The Suzuki incident. Oh my god, Suzuki didn't get his fucking song to play. Oh my god, I got him. Like, is this the angle that you want to go in this view with? Like, oh my god, his music didn't play in Cincinnati. Dude, this this is this is the um this is where I'd be like Tony Khan's two online sometimes. He definitely too. I had no problem with this being an internet meme. I like that's funny. Okay, it's yeah, funny. it's a it, meme. It, that's all it, it needed to be. It, it, but then they like let's make a let's make a booking decision. I was like, all right, we don't have to do all this. This isn't necessary. Well, like I, I feel like this match was always in the plans, but like yeah, that oh man. Been. Oh man, they kept talking about how like how his song didn't play last week, and it's just like okay. And then his song plays, and he's doing this motherfucker gets a full fucking entrance with two minutes left on the show. Oh, they will give him his entrance. Yeah, because they gotta so they gotta make him happy. <laughs> Suzuki was so pissed his song didn't play in Cincinnati. I was pissed. I guess, play, man. But shit. Uh, but um. Yeah, they could have left it to me. It's like when when WWE would do that when they would like something organic and cool. They're like, like, hey, look at this thing the crowd did. It kind of just kind of kills it once they do it. It's like yeah. when like your dad like does the dab or something on the dance floor. Like <laughs> yeah, like all right, bro. And then you know Suzu- Suzuki. Two minutes left on the show. Suzuki is like doing his full fucking entrance, and you know. Give it to uh, Excalibur is talking about the Suzuki incident. How his song didn't play. Suzuki wants to hear his song. You know, all the marks want to hear the song, and then commentary just won't shut the fuck up as the song is playing. Well, it's only one part of the song anybody cares about. And they had, and, and you know what? They had to make the biggest deal out of this. This had to, like, close out the show. This shit is ridiculous. Anyway, uh, Archer comes out from behind, beats up Eddie Kingston, and then, you know, they have a brawl, and then the show's over. That's AEW. Can we stop now? Stop what, man? You were like, you're all one today, bro. I never, I, Duh, I mean, this show even, sucks, man. Like, that, look, we know what this is. This is the, the, the week before the big show. So, like, like this is kinda, your go home. This is terrible. And I like it's crazy because, you know, just a couple weeks ago, they had all this momentum talk. You know, a, AEW All Out is like the amazing thing ever. And then, like, both follow up shows are both ass. Where's all this momentum that niggas was talking about, man? Like, the gas is too much. And it's bothering. Look, man, AEW fans, they love it. This is, it don't matter, bro. They, they, they love anything that comes out. Uh, so, quick hits. There's a lot of quick hits on here because I don't think any of this really uh, amounted to anything or will in the future. I guess, like, uh, just uh, one or two things. FTR versus uh, Dante Martin and Matt Seidel. I don't. Uh, Dante Martin and Seidel's partner are both missing. I don't. Uh, I didn't. I didn't know Mike Seidel was injured. I know Dwayne Martin's been out for a while. For yeah, damn, it feels like six months. 
I, I wonder what's gonna happen when he comes back. Cause Dante Martin is gonna get like this little mini push he's gotten. Uh, I think that push is done. <laughs> we'll that see. push is done. I what do you imagine. mean? What do you mean? Let's see. FTR wins this. I know, but you, I mean, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean. Not, not like I didn't mean push. Maybe like they they exposed uh, yeah. him a lot. Yeah, uh, I, I love how with Dante Martin it was just like, oh, I took Kenny Omega to the limit, and then he loses to Hob, and now he loses to FTR. Like, it, it's funny. It's funny how they position these dudes. Um, so yeah, FTR wins. That's about it. Uh, Suzuki and Archer talk about that. Um, you know, Suzuki, who was uh, trained by Carl Gotch, King of Pancras, all this, but for some reason he just can't overcome a home field advantage. That's crazy. C- Cincinnati had him so rattled that he he couldn't uh, overcome John Moxley. So they're gonna even the odds, and also. In neither of their hometowns of New York, Rochester. Uh, so there's going to be a tag match, uh, Suzuki, Archer, and Kingston, and Moxley, which is why the ending of the show was what it was. MJF, Brian Pillman t- Jr. 2. Another stinky segment. Tillman Jr. still looks like a hoe. Like, bro, I hate this. Like this, this cheap heat. MJF. I feel like because MJF, it, all his promos it, are cheap it, heat. It, it's disappointing because I think he's clever enough. I think he is clever enough to actually have good promos. And it's it like he he goes he just goes like the lowest denominator. Like, oh, uh, this city stinks. Oh, uh, your dad's uh, in hell. Your dead dad's in hell. Your remember dad, WWE, d- remember does the method thing again? Yeah, it was just like it's so like edge lord fucking Twitter troll. Like it's just it's not this for is, me, man. It's not this for is me. What, but this is what MJF has always been. Yeah, that's why he, he never and and, I never and, really and then I and then I'm supposed to believe that you know this dude that like his his promos are very bottom of the barrel, like lacks creativity. That this guy is like the best on the mic. Like this guy can really talk because he stares at the camera and yells. For real? MJF is the theater kid. He is. He's a child <laughs> he's a, actor. That's what I'm saying. The theater kid. <laughs> this, this is what this is why he does what he does. Like this shit is ridiculous. But anyway, uh Pillman comes out, doesn't really get the upper hand. Like, I don't I don't really see how this is like him getting the upper hand uh on them because he don't really touch either Wardlow or um MJF. Please, dog. I need Warlow to leave AEW, bro. This shit is ridiculous. He he could possibly be in a tag team with goddamn Braun Breaker, bro. Braun Breaker. But 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 he out here being a hoe for MJF. And then right after this segment that just happens, we get Bri- uh, Brian Pillman Jr. and Jr. in a segment where Pillman is wearing the same outfit, and then Jim Ross is just like, "You gonna beat MJF? MJF his ass, right? Like you you gotta." <laughs> and it's just like I fucking hope he plans on to like what the fuck is this segment oh my god that shit was so ass like why did they have the seg- uh, the MJF segment later on in the show and have this much earlier mm. but whatever um, Malachi Black comes out here has a full entrance to not wrestle um, so that's cool uh, Rosario Dawson's in the ring because she is a part of the Go uh, the Go Big Show. I forgot that she was part of that. She was looking good too. I ain't gonna hold. I you. mean, she always does. Looking so fantastic. it's not really it's not really a surprise. And then um, Rosario Dawson hops the guard hops the guardrail, and then Cody returns. Hand it down on the road. Why did he come out the crowd? I'm trying to figure out why did he what, what was he doing. <laughs> <laughs> was he getting a hot dog that he saw on the he, screen? Because so, because that's what Stone Cold Steve Austin would have done, I guess. But um, I yeah, that and, and and his suit is red this time. That's how you know he's like ready to kill yeah, Alistair Black. He's ready to bleed for this. He's wearing red now. Uh, and they have a brawl, and then they brawl up the stairs, and then commercial break, and then there's like there's no like fallout after the brawl. It's just like, well, they're gonna have a match. Woo! Like, why the fuck were they going up the stairs and there was no payoff? Just fall up the stairs, man. 
Just, just fight up the stairs for no reason. They should have just fought it out in the ring. What's the fun in that? It will look better. Fuck fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Jay Cargill and Layla Hirsch have a match. How do you feel about this match? It was a match that happened. Um, this is the uh, this is the first time we really seen Jade Cargill in any kind of adversity. I think Layla Hirsch put up a fight, <laughs> and then the, the match kind of happened. It's, it was fine. She's it was had, she's having a, a adversity against Layla Hirsch. This is ridiculous. That's just legit. Yeah. <laughs> what, uh, I mean, what, do you, what do you want me to say? Jay, uh, I hope Jade Cargill gets better in the ring soon. Because uh, in this match, she showed me nothing. Uh, so it is what it is. And then um, Sean Spears. And uh, well, Sean Spears has a promo where he's talking about how he's going to go out and beat Sammy Guevara's ass and all this. Yeah, I'm the chairman, blah, blah, blah. And then he loses to Darby Allen. Solid booking, brothers. Love this. This is fantastic. And then uh, right after the match, Sean Spears is an uh, afterthought where FTR comes into the ring and then starts brawling with Darby Allen and Sting to build for the match. I believe that's going to happen on Rampage. Dynamite, Maybe. Dynamite, Dynamite. Okay. So, yeah, that, that, that's a good, a lot of good momentum going for Sean Spears uh, against his match with Sammy Guevara. Also, it's very funny that this feud is going when both of their respected like leaders are done fighting each other. I don't mean the smoke's over. What do you mean? This is so poor. Well, it's poorly timed smoke. Like, goddamn. They should have did this shit a while ago. Was Sammy Guevara injured or something? Um, he might have been. He wasn't really working mm-hmm. a lot. Um, I didn't put it, uh, I didn't put it here because I really didn't care. But saying some Sammy Guevara's name remind me that uh Fuego del Sol is gonna have a match against Miro uh for the um for, for the title again. And he's putting his car on the line. Brand new joint. Now I, me and Brian Danielson were both told that wins and losses matter. This motherfucker could just put his car on the goddamn table and be like, give me the match. Miro said, Why doesn't everybody do that? <sighs> it's, that's just, that's, we can we can have the same argument when niggas when like the champion throws the open challenge and it takes like mad long for somebody to come out. You know, like yeah, like everybody ready. should be running out there. Yeah, you, you want the? I mean, it's just one of those wrestling tropes. <laughs> but like, but this is a self inflicted trope that AEW has put on themselves. Y'all say wins and losses matter, then this motherfucker could just be like, oh, I, I'm just gonna put my car on the line. How many how many wins is this car worth? Because he didn't win the match that got him the contract to get it. Um, I'm even surprised that Miro said yes. I if Miro loses to this motherfucker, I'm gonna die laughing. You're not gonna lose. So it's so dumb to do this match again. <laughs> Is it not? I if they wanted, to, if they wanted to fill time, I feel like they should have really just gave the match to some who is ever like goddamn fourth on the ranking. And then just let it rock. You know what? I feel like who's fourth on the rankings is like probably like goddamn Jungle Boy or some shit. So they yeah, just grabbed any random asshole to uh, face Miro. And since it went over so well the first time. Um, yeah. And then last quick hit. Um, Matt Hardy said that he wants to cut Orange Cassidy's hair because that's where all his charisma and, you know, all, his, all, 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 all the shit comes from. And it's just like, Orange Cassidy is still going to put his goddamn hands in his pocket. Taking his hair is not going to stop that. If I... But the embarrassment, man. It's the embarrassment. He's just going to grow the hair back. Remember, what is you, Orange you, Cassidy, you, you like remember, 28 years old? Remember when they shaved in WCW when uh, they shaved Hulk Hogan's mustache off? It couldn't grow back. But it's just the embarrassment. He had to do that okay, movie. Okay, but he looked... Tell you what happened. The psychology behind that. Let me give you a better idea. So, Orange Cassidy likes to put his hands in his pockets, right? You take away that man's pockets. 
Make them wear trunks. Ooh. It, is that not a better idea? Because where the fuck he's going to put the pockets and get the crowd pop from? What if, what if we just put the tr- pockets on the trunks, though? You can do that. Then that will get a pop regardless. If he wears the, uh, what if he wears the, um, the, the, the Mason <laughs> uh, T bar booty shorts, the coochie cutters, then what? The, what did Mills call them? Boom, boom shorts? <laughs> boom, boom shorts. <laughs> Mills a wild nigga. <laughs> I mean, Darby, Darby Allen already wearing booty shorts, so right. booty shorts and leggings. So, um, you know what though? If if I was built like Mace, I'd also wear some poom poom shorts too. Y'all gonna see the whole thing. I guess, bro. Y'all gonna see it all, baby. Oh, but like, wouldn't that be like such a better idea than shaving off his head? That like, cause that's not where his power comes from. Was he Samson? Yeah. You know what I mean, I don't know. But Maybe where power um, come from? <laughs> We don't know that. <laughs> it's not where it's not where you the power. You don't. Comes you don't know that man. It's not where the power you, comes. You don't from, know man. his body. Uh, let's get into the predictions for prediction. Grand, double uh, the double grand slam. Like a All cheeseburger. Right. All mm-hmm. right, I got the card right here. This is from Wikipedia. I don't know if this is every match, but this is probably any match that we actually care about. So, match number one, a match I don't care about: Brian Pillman Jr. versus MJF. MJF, fuck Brian Pillman Jr. <laughs> yes, MJF. Um, next up, Malachi Black versus Cody Rhodes. Now, this is interesting because does Cody want to lose on the, does Cody want to lose on his comeback? He usually wins. Shit, when he comes I hope back. he feels that generous. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go. With, I'm gonna go with Malachi Black regardless. I think it's gonna be Cody. I have, a, I have this feeling it's gonna be Cody wins the match. The big show comes out soon. The reality show comes out soon. Malachi doesn't need an undefeated streak. It'd be weird. I mean, he's he's been pretty dominant so far. If he, I feel like if he takes the loss here, it wouldn't be like the worst thing to happen to him. So, as always, here's my issue with it. You have him run through the whole nightmare, fa- uh, the whole nightmare factory or whatever, and then just lose. Then, like, where does he go after that? He can run it back for a third time. Fuck out of here. Next match. All right. I'm not. I'm not trying to watch the third match between these two. I don't want to watch any Cody Rhodes match. So I mean, you gotta and, do, you gotta and, Matt, and and after that, the, after that Dustin match, I'm losing faith in in Black. Sting and Darby Allen versus FTR. Sting and Darby. Yeah, Why haven't these dudes retired? I thought they was gonna retire, man. I thought. Yeah, I thought. Um, Catch Wheeler was done. I guess not. I guess he's good to go. Um, that's why I don't. I like. I like Dax Harwood a lot. I think he's really good. So. I do like FTR. I just don't think, like, if you're not really challenging for the tag titles, then, like, what are you guys doing? Well, you Sting. know what? I feel like they might win it for uh, so they can go challenge for the tag titles. True, but then what happens, to, uh, what happens to LAX? I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Dr. Britt Baker, DMD versus Ruby Soho, Women's Championship. Dr. Britt Baker DMD because Ruby Soho hasn't shown me anything. Yeah, I, I don't think they want to throw the belt on Ruby this fast. That's way too fast. I don't think I don't think they should. Yeah, that's way too fast. Um, well, two terrible matches back to back. I don't think you should be uh, getting the title, but you know how AEW go. Kenny Omega versus Brian. I, I gotta get the name right. Brian Danielson. I'm. You know it's crazy. <laughs> I'm. I've been watching Brian Danielson wrestle. For half of my life, and he for most of it he was Brian Danielson, and he'd been in WWE for a couple of years. And, I, <laughs> and, and, and I, I can't get Daniel Bryan on my damn head. It's Brian Danielson. I had no problem with Justin because <laughs> I love the American it, Dragon. It, and it's funny because I remember when, when he changed the name Daniel Bryan. I thought it was the dumbest thing ever. Like it's so fucking stupid. He just reversed it. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck is that? And you know what? It's most likely Brian's idea for that to happen. <laughs> I know. That's the funny part. Niggas be complaining about people name changes. You and it's a wrestler uh, themselves. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they 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 hand they hand like a note card with mm. fill out three names and the back has like last possible last mm. names <laughs> and then they fill it out. Uh but I got, I'm gonna, uh, I got but Brian. Is it, is it for the title? It's not for the belt. So I think I got okay. Brian. Yeah, give me Brian. Um Suzuki Goon versus John Moxley, Eddie Kingston. For those who don't know, Suzuki, Suzuki Goon is Minoru Suzuki and Lance Archer. Yeah, if you're not a New Japan mark, because who the fuck watches New Japan anymore? 
Um, Not I. I don't care who wins, so I'm going to go Suzuki Goon. Yeah, I think Suzuki Goon. Eddie Kingston taking that pin regardless. <laughs> <laughs> taking that Eddie. gosh pile driver, baby. Um, next up, well, he probably loved that. You know, I mean, he's a he's definitely a a Come Japan on. nerd, a Japan nerd. Uh, Rampage on next Friday, September twenty fourth. The Super Click, consisting of Adam Cole and the Young Bucks versus, versus Christian face hole. versus Christian and Jurassic Express. Give me the Super Click, what? dog. The baby face holes ain't going nowhere. Yeah, so just have they, they, they are looking like some losers over there. I ain't going. They some not, hoes. They some hoes. <laughs> That's um, it. The, oh, you know, we know what, we, what's we know. that title that Christian got? That shit ain't gonna do nothing for him. Impact, Impact Championship. <laughs> we forgot to talk about um Dan Lambert's promo. Oh, uh, a whole this bunch of cut, a whole this bunch of cussing. Uh, he was spitting facts. He was but, spitting um, on this one. <laughs> he's always spitting. Um, but this yeah. one felt less. This one felt less less MAGA than the other ones did. <laughs> So. Yes, it did, it did feel less MAGA. So that's why it definitely one of the best. And he was spitting facts uh, just to rush through it. Um, I can't believe that they're trying to really say that Jake Hager is like somebody in MMA with a mm-hmm. ring full of MMA guys. Never and then lost. and then when the segment started wrapping up, Jericho calls out the two wrestlers, not the badass MMA dudes in the ring. So I'm just like, why do they even bother bringing them out? Why is Tony Khan paying for these motherfuckers to be here? All they do is just stand around. They're not going to get in the ring, so what the fuck? I know. It's so, it is so stupid to have them out there. Um, oh, man. And then, uh, what else I had to say about the segment? A lot of shits. Yeah, a lot of cussing, which is like, roll my eyes. And then, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't care. Um, I'm going to go with Hager and um, Jericho here. I think it might be their turn. Uh, I think it might be men of the year's turn for Jericho to siphon all the life out of them. So it is what it is. And last but not least, CM Punk versus Powerhouse Hobbs. CM Punk. CM Punk it is. Um, I don't know why. Has, Has Hook wrestled any matches? I don't think Hooks have ever wrestled in his life. So no. It's hey, a man. meme. It's a meme, man. Let the meme live. Logan, I don't know if you're listening or not. But hook a hoe, bro. I don't know what you see in him and Warla. This shit is ridiculous. Uh what's going on for Rampage? That was Rampage. The last three matches oh. were Rampage. <laughs> My bad, bro. Uh, <laughs> That was yeah, it. That, that's our predictions. Um, I'm I'm sure they'll add more matches to Rampage as the week goes by, but that's all we have so far. Those three matches, because I don't think it's gonna be two hours and three matches. That would seem like a you lot. underestimate how long the super click might go. They and how many go commercial and low key, how many commercial low key, breaks that that, that could go forty for all we know. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be a goddamn ladder wars, a uh, long oh, match. No. Oh no, it's gonna be a PWG match. Oh no. Well, that's <laughs> AEW Rampage and our predictions for AEW's double grand slam. Uh let's get into NXT 2.0. Mm. The real 2.0. Actually it's 3.0, but you know, that is what it is. <laughs> We're in we don't the other stuff. But all right. I <gasps> do. NXT 2.0, baby. But not mentioned, mm. not, but not the Canadians. <laughs> why, why was everybody so tight that they added the 2.0? Like 2.0 does it uh that that it only means the uh, the Canadian wrestlers. Yeah, right. <laughs> oh. Oh, maybe they, maybe they should have a name that's so generic, you know? Uh but no, nah, how how did you feel about this episode of NXT? We talked about a little bit of it off mic, but what was your thoughts, man? I really enjoyed it. 
Okay, so I'm just going first to straight up initial reactions. I know people were making jokes about it being like, looking like Nickelodeon. I'm gonna be honest with you, it kind of looked like Nickelodeon, <laughs> but not not in a oh. bad way though. Not in a bad way. But it's just that it felt it, like this is something Nickelodeon would produce. They say it Nickelodeon, was, but Nickelodeon what? Like just anything, like they're currently. This like, should product. go. Like, this should, uh, this is like this is like 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 a like a Kids Choice Awards. And it, NXT was way brighter than the Kids Choice Awards, and it was much brighter than a goddamn all that episode or episode shit, of the Amanda show. That shit was bright. You can see all the crowd. You remember how these darkened the crowd in NXT? Yeah, so exactly. That. So, yeah, they didn't do that. No, <laughs> way. I see this crowd because because they were copy and pasting people. That's why. Um, um, how did you feel about the um the whole stage setup, the presentation? I like it. I like that I can see. It's bright. It's cool. And uh, we didn't talk about it um, last week, but everybody was talking about like, oh, it looks like a lot like Dynamite. And I'm just like... No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Or Do you guys watch the show? It did not like Dynamite at all. Dynamite had like dust. It was like, you know, like the fucking like the shit they use but, in India. But it, 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 uh, what is it? it it's like uh, the color pigment that gets like splashed around like baby powder or whatever. But like... Yeah. That's only a part of the start of the show. Where they, they do don't even the, do that. Uh, do they even do that anymore? Yeah, on they, the, they on the intro. Yeah, they do the, but the like smoke thing. NXT, they add the color to the uh, the backstage vignettes, the graphic. Like the yeah, color is super. implemented into the show way harder than it is on Dynamite. So I don't even know how they are alike. And like I can uh, see, I can see where you get the similarity from, but it's kind of it's low key a reach, low key. It's it, low key a reach. Yeah, it is because it's, it's a reach. like, uh, oh my god, Dynamite has the the colors at the uh, at their starting graphic, and then it's not used for anything else. Yeah, On NXT, it. it's the main aesthetic of the show. Yeah, that's the difference. Um, I also <laughs> like the uh, the moving hard camera like they used to have on the old like the game show NXT. The oh, way yeah. it was filmed, it also reminded me a lot of uh, when WCW did uh, Universal Studios. Mm-hmm. It felt it definitely it felt it definitely felt film like it was in a studio instead of the static kind of CWC. I, I would say the only thing that I'm like nitpicky or like two things that I would say that I'm not a really big fan of is the um the entranceway. I wish it was still big like it was before, uh, yeah. because Imperium's entrance looked awful with that new setup. I'm sorry, it didn't look it, it didn't look too great. They got to work on the graphics, a couple of people graphics. Well, okay. my problem with the Imperium gra- uh, like entrance is that like we can see like the lighting rig and like the seats that are there or whatever. And it's just like, you know, before it used to just be like the ramp and then like their silhouette. But now you can yeah. see like a whole bunch of this equipment and shit. Um, so I basically my only complaint would be like for entrances, just make the space a, like a little wider, just have like a little more room. So like they gotta, I don't they have gotta get to them, see. they gotta get them chairs in, and, and it's just like you know it's so bright, so it's just like I can see like the wires and shit, you know, like <laughs> or you know like where they tape down the wires and shit. But uh, it is what it is. I, I like it. Um, it's not dark, so that's cool. So yeah, when, uh, that's what it, you, it's crazy. So that's the same exact building that it was before because it looks like a oh, completely they, different <laughs> venue. I was like, all they did, the all they did was turn the lights on. They turned the lights off. <laughs> took them damn screens off the t- off the wall. Uh, so uh, Cornell in the Discord was just like Vince walked in the shit and just say, "Hey, turn open the window, nigga. What's <laughs> going on?" <laughs> nigga, bad uh, depressed in there. What the fuck? But no, I thought it was cool. Um, let's actually get into the show now. Uh, you know the bigger topics. Um, we get the TikTok tag team versus Gigi Dolan and JC Jane. Um. I had a problem with this. This. Th- this is a good. This is a good feud for them, I guess, to really get the TikTok tag team the fuck out of here. Um, I don't. <laughs> I really don't need them in this new era of NXT. Like, they're awful. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the match happened, and then the part that bothered you comes up. Uh, yeah. So look, look, right. First of all, the, the TikTok tag team shit. I'll be on TikTok. I ain't never seen them on my TikTok feed. And I follow <laughs> a lot of wrestling content. I'm uh, they they ain't my, got no followers, bro. Uh, on my For You page, I ain't seen them not once. So they might be capping about TikTok tag team. You know, who has, a really, you know has a, who has a really funny TikTok? Ooh. Top Dollar. Top oh, Dollar yeah. shit is hilarious. Bro. Is it? I'm at the, um, 
there, there was a TikTok where he was just like getting gas in the hood. And he's just saying, he's just get pop, 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 pop. And he just starts like sinking down. <laughs> but uh, go ahead, go ahead. But anyway, my actual complaint. Um, so I know you don't watch main roster a lot, but I still watch main roster. And one thing that Raw loves to do is specifically Raw. It happens on SmackDown sometimes, but I see it happen a lot more on Raw is they'll have a match. Someone will interfere or cheat, and mm-hmm. then somebody else will come out. And then after the commercial break, yeah, we have a yeah. tag match. I fucking hate that shit. Just fucking book the tag match in the first place. Why uh, go through all this extra stuff? I hate well, it. They do okay. it all the time. I hear you. I, I 100% hear you, Juan. But I would just say that I think it would just be a little, like, I think it would just be weird to book the six, uh, excuse me, to book the six man when, like, Saray literally has never ever spoken to the tiktok tag team doesn't matter she <laughs> or got, like inter- she, got, she got beef with mandy yeah i, I you could just i get you that you don't have to do all this i get you and this is my second point this is what i uh w- what we talked about in the discord it was just like i'm glad that they're doing the six man now and not next week because i don't want saray around these losers anymore i wanted to just get it out of the way because now we don't have to wait a week, you know, to like prolong this whole thing. And like, oh, so, you're, so, you're, so you're saying usually NXT draw shit out to the next week and you're just like, fuck it, yeah. we can do it now. Yeah. I and guess. so, like, uh, and then, like, that. you know, we get, uh, cause like, okay, this ends in a DQ and then we have to wait next week for the six man. And then, like, the following week, we're going to get the singles match between, uh, Saray and, uh, Mandy Rose. Instead, we just killed one a week. <laughs> and now we're just going to kind of like, I, I, I would like for them to just focus on the singles part of uh, Saray and Mandy. And the match, I like this match as the six-man more than the tag team match. Oh, yeah, the six-man was fit. Uh, low-key, <laughs> if we go keep it exactly really low-key, the six-man might have been the best match of the night. Hey, hey. hey I'm going to be honest with you. It might be the best match of the night. Uh, at, least, at least close to it. I... I'm so glad that Mandy Rose is back on top of it. I always thought she was a really good talent. Um, I always thought her and Sonya Deville could actually possibly be tag team champions at some point. Like I thought there was, they were the second best thing to Sasha and uh, Bailey. Mm. And then, uh, okay. then I would say like third after Nikki Cross and Bliss. Cause I do like, uh, I like those two more than I would say like uh, Deville and Mandy. But you know what's so wild though? Like, oh, like, like they're like, uh, what's wrong? Mandy Rose was like the the vet of that match. Yeah. I, mean, I, I mean, I don't know how long Saray's been wrestling for, but she's only been in America for what? Yeah. Well, a like year? It, for for WWE, she's the vet. Yeah, she's she's and the vet. That's crazy. Man, the, the match is skyrocketed in quality soon yeah. as Ma- uh, Mandy and Saray got involved, and. Hey man, I'm I'm very glad that Mandy Rose is finally doing the thing because motherfucker, I was embarrassed when she was with Dana Brooke because Dana Brooke was bringing her down like shit. Mm. I know I know that's a little mean to say, and uh, but we we got to keep it honest. So I'm glad that uh, Mandy Rose is back on the thing. I don't really the hair color. I don't care. I'm just glad that she's a good wrestler <laughs> again. I, I, I need Mandy to go full goth, full witch, whatever they, because it's like the other two are like witches, and then she's just like well, Mandy with the with a, a dye job, but I need like, I need to go full witch, it's, baby. It, it's like Maybe. the movie Craft. <laughs> and one of them has to get the black hair, and it should have been. But it is what I it need, is. I uh, need black hair with like green streaks in it or some shit like that. <laughs> That'd be hard. Let's, let's, uh, let's take it all the way. <laughs> Uh, damn, you want her to be the uh, the goddamn pop star ghost from Danny yeah. Phantom. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly who I had in my mind, too. That's funny. <laughs> uh, no, I, I like the look. It's cool. I do, honestly, I wouldn't be mad if she went full goth or full, uh, Same. you know, pop really? punk or whatever. I, th- I think it would have been cool. You know, they could all just do that. And then they can just be like the shawties from Kraft. So uh, that's cool. I... I hope JC Jane could get a little better. I definitely think she's like the wink links uh, so far, but I think it's, I think it's up for this trio. I, I really do think it's up for this trio. 
on Sir on Saray's side, I don't know, man. You gonna have you don't want to tag with them bitches no more, man. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. Yeah, we, we we them niggas at home. Oh, we well, yeah, I guess, I guess I guess JC has the least amount of experience. She's only I think I think she's a. Uh, Oh, she had she wrestled a couple of indies, but she's only been wrestling since 2018. I'm pretty sure Gigi yeah, Dolan wrestled. Real, real, real questions, man. Does she have accolades, man? Mm. That, 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 is, that is the theme for this episode. Where's the I accolades? See, I, man? I don't see no accolades. From no accolades? She, was tra- she was trained by Jay Lethal and Matt Seidel. Oh, that's pretty good. All right. I'm, no, that's cool. We'll take it. Yeah, I'll take it. I, I, uh, I like both those guys. All right. Uh, is there anything else that you would like to say about the SAG match? Have I convinced you that this was actually a good thing and not a bad thing? <laughs> no, this is fucking terrible. I hate. <laughs> okay. Uh, let let let's go to the diamond mine thing. Uh, we got the brothers. Uh, hey, the, uh, look, hey, <laughs> look, they, 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 <laughs> I, Talk uh, to chan- me, bro. Chan- chan- well, first meal tweeted. He said, um. <laughs> These guys look like they could drop somebody on their neck at any given moment. And then Chan retweeted, like, that's the thrill of it. He's like, you know what? I was like, you know what? You're right. (laughs) Someone could die. Let's let's get a little violent. You know what I mean? Someone someone could become paralyzed from the waist down at any point in this match. And you know what? That's the thrill of the match. These guys are fucking monsters. They're just throwing niggas around. They're blurring the lines, brother. (laughs) Is it is it a shoot? Who knows, brother? Because wrestling is all they know, man. They don't know this fake shit, man. Yeah. And then like uh, one him. brother one brother stood out. Uh, with, I think it was Julius. Mm-hmm. Is he the one who's punching himself in the face? Uh, I don't know. I, I really uh, can't tell. One of them going to need to get, like, tattoos. Like, uh, like you got I, I, think, I, I think I think the brother, I think the other brother, he's, like, he's a little thicker. Well, one like... of them need a neck tat, so I can tell the difference. <laughs> I, I believe Creed is. I, I believe Julius is the is the the skinnier one, and Brutus is the thicker one. You know, I know, I know, we're gonna, <laughs> I know we're gonna, I know we're gonna, I know we're gonna talk about the uh, the the Steiner kid later, but they kind of remind me of like them, uh, like them young WCW Steiners. Obviously, you know, they're I'm still fucking with it, little green, but they re, they kind of remind me of those young Steiners because you because you know because you know what they got what they got accolades accolades. Talk to them. It, history repeats itself, and we're we're on the best timeline, brother. Um, so obviously the two brothers win. Uh, I don't even remember who they faced to be real. Uh, they showed the name for like two seconds. I couldn't even get a chance to write it down. <laughs> but, uh, you know, Malcolm Bivis comes in, excuse me, um, flexes muscles. And then he was just like, oh, we got a, we, we got a new shawty with us, man. Show her what it do. She came out. Uh, I I forgot their name. I'm so sorry, but uh, I am too. I got a lot of you. They can't. She stood. She stood up front and said, "Show that body," and she said, "Ah, <laughs> the double buys, baby." No, oh, her arms are fucking huge, bro. Come on, man. She's like she looked like a goddamn pit bull. She looked like a killer, bro. <laughs> she had a chain that. around her neck. You already know. You know what time it is. No, everybody in there looked like they was about to film a tap out commercial, bro. That shit look crazy, man. I can't wait for uh for her to get involved into the NX uh you know to the, the NXT division. ecosystem. Was she? Well, I would. I wish I knew her name so I could look up if she was yeah, like I'm, a former so, uh, indie person. I don't know if she like has an experience or if she. Uh, nah, she, no real accolades. But, you feel but me, bro? They they just signed her though, so she. I didn't know where she get in the ring no time. So they just real, signed her like last week. Real accolades, <laughs> nigga. That's why. When 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 you're not when you're not just trained by some goddamn uh motherfucking go Delaware, go ahead, go ahead, get your shit off, bro. I know you want to get it off, man. And Quan has NXT mm-hmm. not been on like the track that I've been looking for since I've uh since I've mentioned that like nobody has any accolades and everybody's just like nerds and geeks. So you you've been saying that had like soon like soon as I said that on the on the uh, on the Patreon shit. They started. Uh, um, the report came out. No more indie niggas. And then uh, they signed. Uh, you know all the um, all the collegiate folks, all all, all the uh, the former Olympians. Look at Diamond Mine, man. That's what I love. Look at that shit. And they got Roddy right there too. That's the best part. I love that. 
and one of my favorite, I love that, one of my favorite indie that, wrestlers, man. Roddy. Just, just, one, one of the one of the greatest, one of the smartest minds in wrestling, one of the greatest wrestlers ever in my eyes. And then right next to Hideki Suzuki, uh, H- uh, Hector Minjiro. No, uh, no, that's not his name. Uh, Hachiman, 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 Hachiman. 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 Oh, what what is there not to love? I I love uh, Hideki I love Suzuki that, from fucking uh uh Big Japan Wrestling. I love Roger Strong. I like Bivens. I like all these motherfuckers with accolades. Is Pretty this not the good. perfect faction for me, bro? It's what you wanted. Come on, man. NXT is getting like NXT is giving me everything I've been like kind of like wanting ever since I mentioned it like five weeks ago. Mm. So how am, how am I gonna hate on the show? But um. To end off this segment, we get the return of Kushida. Glad to see that he's back, uh, you know, from COVID vacation. So, uh, back in the Amiris. That was just for, uh, just for the appearance, man. He was. It? I hope so. I, you know how I feel about wrestlers <laughs> in jeans. Hey, if he wrestle, if he came back in the Amiris, I'm just gonna be like, why is there so many outfit changes, bro? <laughs> but uh, he's back, and he was just like. I fuck all the talk, bro. I'm ready for Let's it. Do it. Let's do it. So I need him to lose that championship tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you've been postponing greatness. I I you know I'm joking. I obviously know what happened, but Diamond Mine needs that. They need that trophy. So yeah. uh, this is it. This is this is it. R- R- Roger Strong, part of two amazing factions back to back. Uh, shout back. out to him. I am so glad he did not retire like we thought he was, or like a soft retirement. I was so worried, bro. Me too. But um, Me too, man. All right. The fatal four way. So there's a lot of things that we have to talk about uh before this happening. At the start of the show, we get a couple of little vignettes from everybody that is a part of the uh the fatal, the fatal four way. Pete Dunn, Champa, Kyle, and LA Knight. And then LA Knight cuts his little promo thing. And then uh Braun Breaker, two K's, two K's. It says, hey man, I'm ready to get started. You like know, like a happy puppy. Uh, you love it his face. Yeah. Like- <laughs> and then LA Knight was just like, all right, man, I'm gonna kick your ass then. And I was just like, hey man, I don't think you should be doing two matches in one night. Why did they do that? I don't understand why they had him her, him wrestle. I Honestly, mean, maybe the maybe they'll I, explain it next week, but it seems so weird to have LA Knight him wrestle LA Knight. Uh, he had it. So anybody in the back could have threw out there with it. My, Unless there's a storyline purpose. My, my thought process is this. There has to, like, it's kind of like protecting him, so when he, like, you know, isn't part of the decision, which we all know the results now, so and then, like, L.A. Knight is so cocky that, like, it would be no sweat to him. And then, you know, he could do it. So there's, like, two things at play there. But I don't agree with that decision. I don't I don't agree with him having two matches. There's plenty of guys. That I, thought, uh, that I thought it was dumb. <laughs> you could have had him wrestle anybody. Why have put, why have, L, I don't know. Unless, yeah. I mean, it's. We we seen it all night. It's to like mix it up with like unless that's that, LA Knight's like you know last night there and he's and he's getting called up, which he should be. Oh, then. if he gets called up, <laughs> then this segment is perfect. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, what then that's fine. I'll take that. If, if that's the case, this is was his last night in NXT, and he's willing to do the job but for like, a young guy. That's fine. But a, a lot of these people all got mixed up with people that are already like kind of Kong like uh, cemented into NXT. Well, some of these guys are like fresh new, like um, Camarillo Hayes, but like. He cemented into NXT. You know, he wanted to break out. He's, yeah, he's featured there. on the show constantly. So I, I guess it was just like one way to just like have him, you know, mix it up with somebody. Um, so yeah, it is what it is. Uh, LA Knight loses <laughs> to uh, Breaker, <laughs> which I was just like, yeah, guess he's not going to win it tonight. Or or it was going to be like, oh, they're, they're just trying to break us down so they can build back up or whatever uh so mm. e- either or it would have been cool with me um i'm kind of understanding for the most part i'm not gonna go crazy or anything and then um what is it later on the night i don't i don't remember like which part of the night it was but pete dunn and rich holland just run up on kyle O'Reilly backstage and then just beat the shit out of him and i was just like god damn 
and, uh, and, then, and then some mystery NPC saves him from. Uh, yeah, because uh, it was like because it was like in a weird picture in picture. It's like, a, it's like the, the tiniest screen for picture in picture. Like why even yeah. show it? <laughs> uh, I, I would say throughout this whole NXT episode, we were all asking questions, and we were just get, we were just given to just wait, just wait. Um. So Kyle O'Reilly is effectively taken out of the match, which I'm just like. I get it. You don't kind of want Kylo to lose. Like that. Would, this would be like his fourth like loss. Yeah. For the like uh for the title. So like Balor twice, the Fatal Five way, and then like what would have been at the start of NXT two point So if they want to protect Kyle that way, that's cool with me. And then uh, you know, have their new their new face mix it up with the with the vets and shit. So um, we w- what's his name, man? Uh, Vol Wag uh... Von Wagner, formerly okay. known as Cal, formerly known as Cal Bloom, who did do a couple uh matches during the uh, the PC era. He did a couple matches on Raw and SmackDown. Son Ooh. of one of the Beverly Brothers, I forgot which one. I don't really know the Beverly Brothers that well, so I couldn't even tell you uh, which one it was. Uh, b- b- but one before of our time, ha- hashtag one of before too. our time. Uh, tag before my time, so they put him into the match, uh, to take Kyle's spot. I did think it was puzzling as well because I said, Who, you know, yeah, I, we, I think we all say who, <laughs> but um, I think it, it's it's fine with me, man. Uh, because like, I don't know, I guess I'm just like more understanding and just like a lot more patient because I was just like, Oh, you know, you know, they don't want Kyle to lose and like. Clearly, this theme of NXT is, hey, look at all these faces. Yeah, we, <laughs> these, got, we got a lot of guys. It, 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 very, it very much reminded me of those, which, I mean, basically was confirmed by all the, you know, insiders, is that, like, this felt like early NXT, like, when yeah. back when, like, the Wyatts first debuted and, like, when Sasha first debuted and all the people. It literally, that's, that's how and, I felt watching this whole episode. I was like, this feels like old NXT. Yeah, and you know, we 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 see a whole bunch of folks that just said I would like old NXT back, where you know it was more developmental, more character this, work. This was developmental it. and character work. I will tell you that much. And this was goddamn it. And then I'm seeing what? Why? Are, why is NXT throwing out people out there cold? Like what? How are people going to get their start if they never come out, bro? They got debut. You got debut someday. Like, yeah, they came out cold. They go thaw out. Cause they're they right next to uh, people that are already submitted to NXT. Like, what like what are people saying, bro? People want old NXT. This is goddamn it. This is a blend of both of them. This is like the oldest you can get before it becomes the game show again. Yeah, it, it, motherfucker. They wanted uh, goddamn Wagner to carry a keg and then run like a couple laps. Like, what? They, like, what they want, bro? But uh, anyway, we get to the fatal four way, and um. The matches, I, I, because I agree with you. I think the uh, the six man, uh, the six man with the women were, was the best match of the night. <laughs> this was this was basically a sprint. Like they uh, they clearly had to make time for the wedding, so they were just like, let's just you know, yeah. let's get this match going. Were you surprised by the pick at? Oh, a spoiler, I guess, or whatever. Champa won. So you the new motherfucker. This I, episode dr- <laughs> drops after the show comes. I know. Out, bro. I'm just saying. <laughs> whatever. Look, so Champa wins. Were you surprised puzzled. by that result? I'm I'm very puzzled by that, especially if their mission statement was like, "Hey, no more old niggas." <laughs> then they gave it to the oldest nigga. <laughs> yeah. Um. But 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 yeah. what happens after? The, the, yeah, what happens at the end? Who knows? At this point, um. But yeah, um, yeah, the spread of a match, Champa wins. It was a cool match. Everybody got their shit in. Yeah. Um, Von Wagner didn't look too out of place. He didn't do a lot, which is yeah. fine. Well, it's because he was in there with a whole bunch of people that were already submitted, and then everybody was just like, "Oh, this is Vince's call to have Wagner in because he's tall." And I was just like, "LA Knight's right fucking there, bro!" Like, yeah, come on now. And then it was just like, "Oh man, this match just looks like it's lined up for Wagner to win." I don't think they were. I didn't think they were gonna wild out like that. I, I never thought Wagner was gonna win this match. But like people look so stupid, bro. Like instead of speaking it absolutes, just be like, "Oh man, is Wagner gonna win?" Question mark. Like just have it at that. Um, 
but yeah, Champa wins. And then like after the show, what we talk about after uh Braun Breaker uh runs up on Champa. Well, not runs up, he 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 gestures towards Champa, just stands in front of him, and Champa's just like, Hey man, that was cool. You know, we beat LA nice ass, and then like complete change in demeanor off uh braun breaker he's he's not he's serious like immediate turn yeah i'm not i'm, I'm here for the gold <laughs> he, heavy breathing a lot a lot of heavy breathing <laughs> AD wrestling back he, he got that from a dad he must have because uh that's that yeah. definitely some <laughs> <laughs> i'm fucking with this baby um before we talk about the wedding i know a lot of people are going to be really upset about like the Pete Dunn thing, but like we have to kind of like understand or like kind of just realize that this is NXT 2.0. This is the start of something new. So let's not end one of the biggest angles going on, you know? Also, he just signed a three year contract. He's not going nowhere. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, where you going to rent to now, <laughs> yeah, he, he just signed the contract. It's fine. We got plenty of time for a uh, Pete Dunn title run. It'll happen. Yeah, they love that guy. Uh, and then we have a whole bunch of time for Kyle O'Reilly. So it's cool, man. Uh, also, not everybody needs to win the NXT championship. Yeah, Pete should though. I don't think Champa needed doing it. I don't think Champa needed either. I do think Pete Dunn should get it. But like, if Kyle never gets it, I'm okay with that. Yeah, that's fine. Because if if we're gonna be really real. I'd like Roger Strong to get it instead of Kyle, because I Roddy. still because I still think Kyle's mm. kind of lame. I, I yeah, me too. I'm right there with you. I think he's very lame. Yeah, like well, when when they were doing the promos at the start, I was just like, what lame shit Kyle about to say. And it, he didn't say nothing lame, but I was, that was my expectation going into it. So uh, <laughs> not a good, not yeah. a good sign. <laughs> yeah, that's not a good sign at all. But uh, the wedding. The wedding of Indy Hartwell. Uh, Indy, what, what was the middle name? Uh, I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember her. His, his middle uh, name was Gaylord. I remember that. I forgot Indy's and it made me fucking die of laughter. I can't uh, believe it. I am so sorry, folks. But um, <laughs> Dexter Gaylord Loomis. Um, I'm not laughing because it's his, uh, his middle name is Gaylord. I am. I'm laughing because it's Gaylord because I'm a fucking child. <laughs> Lord, I'm laughing because he has a middle name in gen- in general. Because <laughs> this because this opens the door to mean that everybody possibly has a middle name that they're just not using. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, what, what what is Grimes' middle name? You know, shit like that. Like, it opens the door for stupid questions like that. But um, the sweating is great, man. Um, everybody's there. They look pretty, except uh, Pitchman Jiro. I don't know why he's there. Uh, he had the ring. What do you mean? Oh, we, we forgot that. We forgot to mention. Oh, Austin yeah. Theory, Austin Theory's back. No more. No more. Uh, take him off the milk carton, bro. My man's back. I guess, <laughs> the, call, like, I guess the call up was canceled. I guess I don't know what happened. I, I thought you ran away. I did. <laughs> Bro, this whole and all those things were straight and jokes, they never bro. Went looking for him. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh, tight man. about that, bro. Uh, and then I also love Johnny Gargano just squashing his feud with all with, with all the former <laughs> with all the former uh, uh former foes because Damian Priest comes through and he's just like, ah, come on, let's hug it out. I thought uh, mm-hmm. I thought that was great. Um. Damien Priest always there where there's women and drinks, bro. You know, you Go. Mr. Bitches, should they change? Should they change? I, w- I wish they would have brought out a lot of uh, a lot of other folks uh, from the main roster to come for the wedding. I thought that would have been great. Oh, um, nice. I saw Mark tweet uh, w- once uh, Loomis choked out the uh, the, um, the pastor. The yeah, the pastor. He was just like, is Seth going to come out? And I would have cried. That would have been hilarious. I would have cried laughter, bro. Um, what else? What what else happens here? Um, so okay, so let's let's start from the beginning. They okay, come out. Okay. Everybody, Grizzly Young, that's talking about this is about to be some bullshit. 
they get a little promo in. Shout out to shout out to my guys. Love love that. I, I love the yeah. start of that. <laughs> they, they all sit down. Um, we'll see. Oh, and then uh the the pastor's like, hey, look, did anybody not agree with this? And my nigga Loomis said, Hey, look, I got it on me. <laughs> well, for, I got it on me if anybody got a problem with it. We could, you know, I mean? we could, we could discuss this. When my, ho- act- <laughs> when my homies asked me why I brought the Thule to the wedding, that's just a surprise for later. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he, uh, he pulled up with an axe in his jacket like a real, like a real player should. So I'm not mm-hmm. even mad at that. Um, at that point, uh, the Indy, yeah, oh, up from, uh, Johnny asked where the rings are. Austin's like, I don't got them. And the We're in the room. <laughs> we're in a, he said we're in a ring. I don't need it. <laughs> ass, man. I want to say this this whole this hate, whole segment was like hate, genuinely I hate, funny. I hate it's so how funny. funny theory. I really do. I really do. <laughs> this whole segment was genuinely funny. Um no, after I was watching when my friends were all dying. <laughs> <laughs> so and then Indy gives this heartfelt speech talking about how how much he loves that uh Dexter's a freak. I mean the real real freak man, freak man. People talk about how you're a stalker, but I love how you stalk me. <laughs> People fine. say you're a freak, but you my freak. And I say, mm-hmm. all right, man, I'm about to turn this shit off. Talk, talk to him. <laughs> talk to him. That's real love, man. That's that real love. It should have been me. Not him. And I, think at, I think at this point, um, Dexter just gives the thumbs up. Yeah, you know that's, I mean? that's not that's not gonna go over with a certain crowd, but you know what? It works so much better here. It, then, the pa- then the then the pastor says, "Yo, what the fuck was that?" <laughs> My man you was talk? tight. My nigga was go, mad. As hell. Are you going to talk? And Dexter Yo, was. She just poured her fucking like, heart out, man. Say something. And Dexter was like, "Shh." <laughs> Choked his ass out. I'm talking too much. Oh my god! So at this point, we need a pastor. Who's that? Who's ringside watching? Oh, my man Regal. Regal can do it. What did, what did I say before? I said Regal did not have the authority to do that. I said that, <laughs> last, I said that last week on the podcast. I said Regal is not authorized to marry anybody, and he said it himself. He said I can't do that. I I love it. Everybody was like Regal, and he's just like, no, what? <laughs> <laughs> like they said that shit like he ad libbed it, and he actually <laughs> did did not know what the fuck was going on. Uh, if they did a fucking priceless shout out to the um, zombie ref shout out to the zombie ref also at also in attendance i wish i wish joe was there oh so sad to see some more joe not be there that would have been cool but, if they um, would have went if they would have went up for joe but uh yeah shout out to the zombie ref shout out to the zombie ref also get well soon joe yeah um but yeah so after that, we finally get the big the big payoff. What what I predicted was gonna happen. Dexter Loomis talked with with two beautiful words. He said, I do. And the, and the crowd goes wild. Nigga, I went, I, I went ape shit. <laughs> that was just as beautiful as um Miss Elizabeth and Randy Savage, if not more beautiful. <laughs> that shit put brought a tear to my eye, and the wedding went without a hitch. They're married. It it was an amazing segment. That was beautiful. This it, it was like <laughs> this was for real a really good segment, man. That was it was fantastic. It was genuinely <laughs> funny. I genuinely laughed. It I jumped out of my chair. It was just a good time. It was just fun. That was, wrestling being fun is you know, sometimes wrestling That's can take it, it be, wrestling man. and wrestlers can take themselves too seriously. And sometimes <laughs> it's just like, yo, let's just have some fun, man. This is a TV show. But it kind of makes me sad, man. Is this the finale of the Gargano, you know, this whole story? Or like it, it, or or is there a season two to this? And then we get like, you know, the, the epilogue or you know, whatnot. Sorry, we've been we have been saying since Halloween Havoc, where does this keep going? And somehow it just keeps going. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know. But I'm just like it like because now because it keeps going. I don't because now it's just like all right. We got to the wedding part. Like, is that like what it's all towards? Like, now is this like what? What's after a wedding? I don't. I don't know. want him to get divorced. We, we have we have honeymoon. We have honeymoon footage. Oh yeah, that's good. So you already know they're doing. They're already doing that. I don't want to see the honeymoon footage. Man. I need that. It should have been me, not him. 
<laughs> uh, but no, nah, man, you're right. Like we we've been saying, like, dog, where does this shit go? And I'm just like, man, I. You're right, man. I I don't. I really don't know where this goes next. Like, w- like, cause what is season two of this? I don't know. <laughs> Uh, oh, I, I feel like that's going to be a WWE like digital exclusive, like the reception. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, oh, gonna be, that's going to be hard. That's going to be hard. I can't wait. Yeah. <laughs> we're we're going to get uh, we're, we're going to get another picture of Priest with with the uh, with the U.S. title <laughs> drinking with shawties and shit. So oh, I'm getting ready God. for that. But nah, man, that is uh. That's it for all the big NXT stuff, man. Uh, let, let's get into the quick hits. We got B-Fab's debut. Yeah. Sug that caller, brother. <laughs> let's, uh, let's be really real here. When I saw them kicks, I said, oh, no. Dog. Yeah. She, um, wind, she wind up like a codename Kids Next Door character, bro. That shit had me <laughs> sick. <laughs> Who kicks like that? It didn't look good. Uh, I, I, I hope she doesn't do that anymore. Um, yeah, she needs some work. I'll be honest. Look, I, I don't know how much wrestling experience she had previous to this. Clearly not a lot because it showed. Uh, um, I don't know, man. That that promo that Hit Row did before, they were just like, oh, she's trained by veterans. Yada, yada. And I was just like, and these niggas told her to kick like that? No, they said she was trained by like, olympics like athletes not like worse. Res- not like wrestlers I, it's, it's just yeah she needs some work i'm not gonna shit on her crazy because like you know um, it's it's she's, she's clearly new to this but it's just like whoosh. if you uh you guys know the rules and if you don't know the rules is that i am open to being impressed by emmy and everybody so i say this now and then a month i'm gonna be like oh she's cool because i'm I'm impressed. You know, people grow over time. People get better. So uh, we're going to see what it do with BFAB uh, in the future. You can continue that. Uh, so, yeah, BFAB, whatever. Um, we'll see what happens next. And then Elgato Dev Phantasma uh, comes out, do their thing. It's getting racial, brother. Mm, when she said, that. when she said, Senorita Secret Salt, I said, whoa, mama, hey. <laughs> Let's tone it down, B. What the fuck? <laughs> crossing, crossing a fine line there, buddy. Hey, now, if they come out and say, they call you a porch monkey or some <laughs> shit, now what happened? <laughs> When they when when they call when she uh when uh uh Electra Lopez called her a chicken sandwich or some shit or hoochie mm. mama, well, now nah, like w- w- what happens? <laughs> they call her, they they gonna call her ratchet like they did uh, Sasha. I'm saying let us let's, oh, let's let's tone it down before it gets there. <laughs> to be oh, fair, to like, be fair, <laughs> they burned the mask first. They they disrespected the culture first. They they just coming back. Hey. <laughs> This shit's crazy out here. This shit, this shit get this shit get nasty, brother. <laughs> uh so that feels gonna continue. That's gonna be cool. Uh Electric Lopez is gonna have a lot of weight to carry. God yeah, I, I don't even know how much uh experience uh, she got. God God strength. Man. Honestly, Electric Lopez looked like goddamn Zoe Stark Plus. <laughs> So uh, we are gonna see what happens. We are gonna see what happens. Um, there were more debuts. Who else debuted tonight? Uh, um, you got you got the names on deck. You know what I noticed? What's up? A lot of those names that I named off literally last week were on TV. I just realized. Well, I looked. I just saw on Twitter that um, Josh Briggs' partner, I believe his name was. What the hell was that guy's name? I just wrote it down. It was like Josh, Josh Briggs. Briggs. Josh Briggs' partner. His name was. Hold on, Brooks Jensen. Yeah. Um, that's Bull B. Cannon's kid. So I don't know how much uh we discussed this last time. You don't know who Bull B. Cannon is. He was in right to censor. Also was uh, tag yeah, team yeah, with, yeah, with yeah, the yeah, big yeah. boss man. He's also uh Cena's tag partner early, early. 
when he oh. was B squared. When he was B squared, it didn't last. It didn't last long. Obviously, um, <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, hey, so man. we had a lot of second generation stars. We obviously talked about hey. Braun Breaker. It, 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 is that something that we can hate on? Because it seemed like everybody was hating on that, but AEW could put goddamn Brock Anderson on, and then everybody be like, "No, this is cool, man. I love Arn. Spinebuster, bro. You know, and it's just like, hey, man, NXT does the same shit, oh, and, and, they get, and they get a whole bunch of flack. And I think he was presented way better than Brock Anderson was. <laughs> yeah, the game's the game. Uh, yeah, yeah. Other new faces, we got Trick Williams, who uh, came out with Carmelo Hayes, and I think this segment was also. Awesome. I thought this segment was very terrible. Yes, um, it was bad. I don't. Uh, I don't know if he stole um, the hit roll script from uh, a month ago or something, but he seemed like he seemed like uh, he belonged with Carmelo Hayes the way he was like trying to like flow and rap in the. Uh, he wasn't trying to talk. He was trying to spit, and I thought that so, was really weird. Someone, someone on my timeline said he talks like a '90s boxer, and I said, "Yeah, that sums it up." <laughs> Ain't that when you said top dollar talk like an '80s uh, goddamn ice cream jam or some shit like that, or '80? He talks at '80 punchlines. Yeah, it doesn't look like fucking like a Fat Albert cartoon. <laughs> yeah, I didn't like the segment, man. Um, <laughs> I I understand what the segment was trying to do. But uh, I don't think Trick Williams really uh, did that. Did that I think part of lines. it? Oh, he definitely did. Um, I don't think he did, uh, did it any true favors. But I do like when Duke Hudson came out and he was like, "Fuck out my way!" And Trick Williams was just like, "Nah, we ain't taking that." <laughs> he immediately okay. ran up on him. <laughs> but you know what? That's just real because you need a nigga, you need a friend like that around you, ready for the, yeah. you know what I mean, ready for the book. Like, look, hey, he's like, not gonna you know, leave like, you. you know, he's not gonna leave you when you the like, smoke get bad. You know what this reminds me of? You know, like, like when somebody from your neighborhood get on, and you got you, you that homie. You like, look, I'm gonna watch your back. Yeah, and you know, yeah. like we proud of you out here, so we need you. We, I need to keep you safe. That's yeah, what that's what you, was. You, you you the star from the hood, bro. So you yeah, you, you I'll, I'll be a shooter. You, if, they, if, they, <laughs> if, they, if they come down to it, you need a shooter. That's me. That's what Trick Williams basically <laughs> said. Um, you know what? I'm not mad at that. Just the delivery was a little off. But uh, you know I mean? Dion compared it to Cuban Gooden Jr. and Ice Cube and Boys yeah. in the Hood, and it was just like, <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, yeah. That's him. Uh, I just think that uh, Trick Williams is a little too lame to be Ice Cube, but you know, um, it is what it is. Uh, they'll grow. up. Obviously, this is going to grow on me over time because I definitely think that I think it would be cool for Carmelo Hayes to be a heel. Yeah, I don't think where they're going. So, uh, I need this motherfucker to pick his championship, bro. Like, because I didn't think that this, uh, the contract that he has would be like an actual like money in the bank situation. I thought he'd kind of like file it in already or at least like gave us a hint at what he gonna do well to be fair it there, out. there was no world champion yet so maybe they're like okay now that you oh, know what yeah. i mean you know what from, you're a, right, you're from right. a kayfabe standpoint i would wait too till after i find out who the champ is yeah so uh honestly he came up with that shit and i was just like oh you're gonna announce who it is and then you know trick williams just started spitting and i was just my like bro oh, my bro okay. trick williams. shout out to samantha <laughs> shout out to samantha irvin too irvine how do you say her name yeah, uh, she looks fan. She looks fantastic. Yeah, uh, that's her debut as well, right? Uh, I think she does debut? backstage interviews. Yeah. That's the first time she's been in the ring. I think she does. No, you know what she does? She does two hundred five live. I know that. Ah, uh, the announcer for two hundred five live. Uh, congrats on the promotion. Congrats. <laughs> um, did I miss any debuts? I said uh, Brooks Jensen. Brooks Jensen with, with Josh uh, Briggs as they wrestled Imperium. Bra- uh, Braun Breaker, Trick Williams, B Fab, uh, who else? Uh, Ste- Steiner's um, kid, the Steiner kid. Yeah, uh, Braun Von Breaker did. and Von Von Wagner. Yeah, ah, Von Wagner. Let me, let me check one more. If I double check, um, Katrina uh, Cortez. I think this is her debut. She's wrestling. No, this is not her before. debut. She been getting her ass beat for a minute. Zion Lee beat her ass like a month ago. She did. You're right. Um, it yeah, might be the yeah. debut of her last name. <laughs> oh, we forgot. Um, where's uh, the fucking Gabagoo? 
Oh my, yeah, my, my <laughs> Italian man, bro. Tony, whatever the fuck his name is. Uh, 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 pop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you know, man. Uh, my family was just like, you know, Olympic wrestling. Fuck that shit. We getting money, said, man. We said we we in waste management, and if you know, you know. You know what I mean? Uh, you feel me? Uh, yeah. I got I got uh, I got to tap into the Sopranos now. <laughs> Um, this is char- this is this is the this, character work character. If this is a 2006 SmackDown, I don't know what it is. That's literally all. Hey, like, <laughs> mo- motherfucker said they, motherfucker said they miss character work. When that motherfucker was just like, you know, me and my family, yada yada, this and that. I know a motherfucker that talked just like him. <laughs> Shout out to Mittens, man. Uh, and then he get named Mittens. His, that's that's his nickname. His name is James. Oh, yeah. Don't call him Mittens. He, to somebody. he definitely He's never somebody. gonna hear this. <laughs> he definitely, he definitely killed somebody. He got he a helped. couple bodies on. He got a couple bodies on him. He helped me out with my finals. So shout out to Mittens, man. But he did. Uh, <laughs> stabbed up my professor. <laughs> <laughs> Threatened the professor. Look, look, nigga. <laughs> um, but nah, that is the that is the the character character. So you know, I think this episode of NXT is really good, man. I think NXT two point Um. We're on the up, man. I know a lot of people kind of, you know, they're, you know, hating NXT right now and making fun of Triple H, who is fucking sick. What the fuck? Why are we still doing it? Um, so hating NXT is hot right now. Making fun of uh, NXT is cool. So all the new faces that came out, even though that was always kind of like the plan, because we knew for weeks that they were going to go back to developmental. But, you know, it's cool to hate on NXT. And this is definitely developmental because a couple of those guys that debuted tonight just got signed. Like, <laughs> yeah. Like literally a week ago. They they probably hadn't got through the beginner courses yet. Like, you know, the first three weeks we get, you just, you just roll around the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, they probably been doing that shit for weeks, man. And, you, you know, they, uh, they're well, to be fair, to be fair, they announced the signing. They didn't really say they could have been signed for a minute, low key. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It yeah, is when they, they announced they, it last week. Uh, also, like a lot of these people have like wrestle, like wrestling backgrounds, so all they have to really do is just get in the ring, like get this. Uh, what is it? Because they already know how to wrestle; they just need to know how to be a performer. That's all. Yeah. So you're okay, not gonna learn how to be a performer without the WWE out there. style. Or just learn how to be into, uh, not to have stage fright. Learn how to talk. You know, it's what people wanted, <laughs> and you know. Uh, I, I wasn't too. Uh, I wasn't like too on the timeline for this because uh, I, I already saw some tweets and I was just like, okay, people are being so. Uh, shout, shout out to my timeline. It wasn't that bad. <laughs> uh, Speaking me of and timeline, D, me, me oh, and Dion uh, retweeted something at the same time, and he was just like, "You want to take over?" I was like, "No, no, 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 no." I, I saw, I saw that. <laughs> so, Completely uh, off topic, but speaking of uh, timelines, shout out to uh, TDE Wrestling Gifts. Oh yeah, I, I don't know what I don't know what the hell be happening on Chaco Pro Show, but every time they post gifts, I'm like, I should watch this one day just to see what's going on. You know what's like, funny? Because when I sh- when I told you that uh, you know, that's what Amy Sakura like does when you know yeah. when she's out there and shit, you're just like, oh, this look like some bullshit. <laughs> it do look like some bullshit, but I'm I'm kind I'm starting to kind of get interested. I, I want to see what the hell they're doing over there. Why are people watching um, this? Because it looks nuts. I like I like their shows when they're actually in a wrestling ring and not in the storage closet. Why are they not in the ring? Because they're in the storage closet. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when they're in the rings. I'll really watch it. Hey, no, hey. you get it. That's all you. <laughs> I watch that shit. Uh, I gotta catch up on Stardom. That's uh, that's my thing. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't. I'm not. Uh, like we saw a little bit. Um, who who's um, May? Oh man, she was in the Women's Eliminator at AEW. Who are you talking about? Uh, one of the one of the wrestlers at uh Choco Pro. Oh, Mesa uh, Gura? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, she wrestles there a lot, and I I see a lot of her. You know, I see it via gifts. Like I see that she has like a lot of matches there. But whenever they're in the ring, I'll sh- for sure tap in. I'm just not really into the whole aesthetic and how it uh, kind of looks. Like it looks like, it looks like it, it looks like wrestling your sibling. Like you you pulled the mattress off the uh. Uh, yeah. off the frame and then you know you do your thing so it's a uh, it is what it is um yeah man uh 
You can follow Quan at the comeback spot. Speaking of timelines, you can follow the A Show RNC at the A Show RNC uh, on Twitter. You can follow us on Patreon, where we're gonna talk about what I what I what, what I read was the second greatest match ever: Necro Butcher what? versus Samoa Joe, and IWA IWA MS, uh, I believe, two thousand five um, in ECW Arena. It's crazy that this match, and then Samoa Joe would also have. The match at Unbreakable 2005, like three months later, it was two completely different matches and they're both classics. Mm-hmm. So, uh, uh you want to hear us talk about it? Come on over to yeah, Patreon, and bro. If you want to end, if you want to hear us talk about the whole show, me and Justin talked about the whole show on Spot Callers, uh, last year. So, if you want to hear about the whole show, you still have to go to Patreon, and that's yeah. patreon.com forward slash the A Show RNC. But me and me and Quan are just going to talk about Necro Butcher and Samoa Joe, which is definitely a classic um, in my eyes. Uh, but yeah, man, see you next week. And if you're not on the Patreon, sorry you missed out. <laughs>